In this video, I'm going to explain what offspring groups are, how to create them, and tell you why you would want to. An offspring group is a set of animals born at the same time. In egg-laying animals like pythons, an offspring group comes in a clutch of eggs. In boas, it comes in a litter of live babies. In arachnids, it comes in the form of an egg sac. As a breeder, there are a number of reasons why you would want to record the offspring groups you produce. Privately, it's useful for your record keeping year over year. This is helpful for tracking the lineage of your animals and also for planning or recording which females were bred as well as their productivity. Recording offspring groups will also save you time. This process speeds up the creation of animals which can be later easily converted into listings for sale. Offspring groups will also save you time by giving more information to your buyers such as photos and details of the parents and siblings. You'll no longer need to dive through years worth of your phone's gallery to find pictures to answer such questions. Finally, it allows you to show off a gallery of your breeding history, letting your experience speak for itself through your projects and animals produced. This is great for marketing your brand. You will find this functionality on higher end breeder websites, and this would cost you thousands of dollars to build. That's why we're excited at Morph Market to make this functionality easily accessible and affordable to you. Offspring groups occur in four stages. You can record your offspring group right from the beginning and update it as it progresses through these stages. Or you can create it months or years after the fact to go back and document animals you've produced and their lineage. All that is required to create an offspring group and save it is the ID of the group which you create and the category of animal. Stage one of offspring groups is when the female becomes gravid or pregnant. You can add parents to the offspring group by selecting them if they're already in your collection or by creating them right on the spot. If your female is only gravid, then you're done for now. In some rare situations, it's possible to add multiple males or females for a offspring group. This is useful when the female has been paired with multiple males and it's not clear who the father is or to support dual sire situations. For egg laying species, there is a stage two you can record the egg counts, both good and bad, and the lay date. If you like, add a photo of the mom on the eggs. You can also record notes. Notes can be either private, for your eyes only, or public. If your animals haven't hatched yet, you're done for now. Once animals are birthed or hatched, this is stage three and you can enter in the date of birth and create the children. This is where the system starts to get exciting. We simply enter in the sex and the system generates the children for us with proper sex, not for sale status, generated IDs, which we can change, common date of birth, and assigns the parents. We can go on to customize by adding photos, changing titles, adding traits, adjusting weights. We can even customize the mom and dad for each individual animal in the case of a dual sired clutch. Pro tip, you're able to customize the columns on this page if you prefer some to be shown and some to be hidden or to change the order. One of the great things about tracking your groups is that once these animals are established and we've reached stage four, if you wish to sell them, you've already done all the work. Either in the offspring group or in the animal manager, you can simply set a price on these animals and change their status to for sale. Now they become listed ads. Once created, offspring groups will show up in the different tabs of the offspring manager organized by stage and season. The Gravid tab lists offspring groups in stage one, where females have ovulated but not yet laid or birthed their babies. The Incubation tab shows clutches which have been laid but not birthed. The Year to Date and Last Year tab show birthed animals by season. Groups with unknown date of birth will also show up here. The current tab includes Gravid, Incubation, and Year-to-Date groups. You can create offspring groups one by one as we've already seen, but you can also create them quickly by assigning a common group ID to animals of the same category. If you've already assigned a date of birth to children, then you can easily sort them by date of birth to give them all the same group ID. If you use bulk import, you can also provide the offspring group ID to have the same effect. Once you've done this, these groups will show up in your offspring group manager. From here, you can modify the other values, like egg counts, photos, notes, either on the edit page, like we saw before, or directly in the table. We're really excited about offspring groups because it unlocks the kind of functionality that was previously only available to a handful of elite breeders with custom websites. Now the ability to track and showcase your breeding history is accessible to you and thousands of breeders across the world at no additional cost. Offspring group features are free for everyone to use privately, 
and are only limited by the collection limits on your plan, which are quite generous even for free users. Drop us a comment to let us know what you think.